What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video where today we have got our dirt jump bikes out and we are pump tracking because not only is it good fun, super good to perfect your bike skills, but it's probably one of the only things actually working this time of year. What do you think of pump tracking then, Cara? I actually really like it because it, for me especially, it helps with my corner speed, but also as well, it just, it's really good, like you say, for helping with your skills and stuff. It's a good all-rounder to ride in the winter, so then when it comes to the summer and you're hitting the big jumps, your little skills that you've practiced will help to make your big skills better. That was actually very well said, Cara. Thank you. This pump track we're at then, it's my local pump track. It was built probably 2011, and I've been riding here for years. And to be completely honest, I actually do get a bit sick of it, which might sound spoiled because it is super cool. But the other day I came here reluctantly and actually ended up having the best session ever. There's so many lines and I just remembered how fun it was. And to make things extra fun today, I've also brought along with me the MTB Hopper. It makes this section now a bit like a jump box. There's plenty of transfer options, fast lines, technical jibs. So I'm going to get on my bike and show you guys like the main lap that is here at the pump track. Let's go for a flying lap then. Supercross season's about to start. This is quite a good little warm up for that. Wrapping in. Concrete corners are so good. Oh, I'm gonna miss my jump. Phew. Oh, squeaky brakes. That lap's actually so good. It's crazy how fast you can like generate speed on the pumps, but also rail them concrete turns. Cara wants to do a few tricks, which has inspired me to have a little warm up with some technical moves. So I'm just going to do a little session, a few quick cut clips on this bank, and then we'll see what Cara's got. <laughs> well, that's what I'm trying to do. Right, feeling pretty good. I'm gonna do whip air and down whip air, which on a quarter pipe is not so bad, but this is really flat. When we were here the other day, this is what we was trying to film, and it took him a few goes, so I wanna make a bet that you're not gonna get it first go. And if you do get it first go, then I have to buy you something. But if you don't, then you have to buy me something. And by something, I mean a hot chocolate or coffee. <laughs> Something game like on, that. Game on. Okay. Come on then, Mr. First Go. You feeling confident with your whips today? <laughs> Does that count as an attempt? All right, I'll let you have a. a Surely that doesn't count. I'll let you have like a test and then a go. Was that the test? Yeah. So this is the go now. Sugar in the morning. Oh no way! That's tricky. That that's difficult. That trick. It's tricky. That tricky trick. that trick. I need to do a regular whip air now. Go on then. Oh! oh. <laughs> nice. I'll take that. Right, I'm now feeling pretty warmed up. So it's your turn because you wanted to show me some tricks, didn't you? Yeah. Right, it's my turn now and tapping into what we were saying earlier about brushing up on your skills. One of the ones that I want to do now is a track stand. Look, I can do it, I think, without a hand. Nice, look at that. Wait a sec, ready? Go on, get that hand off, go. <laughs> oh. Wait, can I do one more? Yes! Yes! There we go, getting better at them. I think the next trick I want to do is a classic one, which involves spinning. Three, two, one. Oh. That was actually a slow spin. Perfect. There we go, Cara showing us a few little skills there. I'm now gonna actually hit the kicker ramp because I bought it here and we didn't use it yet. Let's give it a little try then. 
Here we go. Oh yes. Oh yes. Phew. Yo. That's really sick. It gives the track like a bit of character because that's quite a flat jump otherwise. Quite a flat landing. Should we get a little tuck and hander off it? Yeah. Yoo! That was well good. Quite a fun little addition. There's a big transfer as well actually. But I think before we do that, you can flip that. So let's get a little line on the go. Back flip, 270, foot jam whip. Here we go then. It's quite a scary flip because although the ramp's quite poppy, it actually, there's a bump in it. Oh, easy. You! Oh, oh, yeah. Never get that foot jam whip first, guys. Yeah, I do what you're talking about. People don't need to know that. <laughs> that uh, I cased the flip, I think. Yeah, you did. I went a bit slow because the ramp's like steep which is good for flips, but it's also quite bumpy. And like when you jump it straight, because the back wheel hits the curve as your front wheel's coming out the top, it makes you nose dive. And obviously when you're leaning for a flip, you don't want to have anything pushing you forward. So I think we should do it again and then like clean the whole line up. Woo! Yeah, woohoo! It's so steep. I actually can't get the speed to clear the flip, I don't think. No. I've actually got a bit of choreography to do. So I'm doing a flip, Cara did a spin. I think that you should stand where you are, do the spin whilst I'm flipping. Lovely. Here he comes. That was so, so cool. And I think now Tom wants to do a little manual line around the pump track. So I'm going to get on my bike and follow him with the GoPro. Oh. Good? Yeah. He's doing it. Yeah. Well, I don't think I've ever gone that fast around my, That's sick. my life. Nice, you're crying, aren't you? Yeah. Car was emotional because it was that impressive. <laughs> you can't beat a manual line. It's one of my favorite things to do. It's just such a handy skill to have and actually always such a good challenge, no matter how much you've practiced it. But I want to hit the ramp again. And this pump track has a few transfer options, not too many, because actually the tracks are all quite spaced apart, which makes it difficult to jump from one line to another. But there is like two or three really good ones, especially with the ramp. It's quite big, look. So we're gonna go from the jump here all the way to the step up landing. That's quite big, isn't it? Yeah. Whoa. And the good thing about that is that you can go far to the outside of the landing, so the gap can be as big or as small as you want. I'm a bit concerned about the angle. Yeah, that's weird. Basically, that track's trying to put you on the outside, so I've got to like, turn to the inside and swerve across, and I don't want to slip. You can maybe do it from the other line. Shall I try that for a moment? Yeah. Running? Well, that's better. That's the one. Here we go. Driving in. Here we go. Transfer time. Woo! Oh, that's so good. How good is that? Yeah, that's actually massive. I think you could go like almost here, so I almost like transfer over, you know? Yeah, okay. Should we try? The whip. She looks so close, this is gonna be sick. Oh. It's the kind of jump you just want to ride all the time. So I'm gonna do it again. We're gonna capture it from the outside this time. How good is that? I'm actually casing it a bit, but it's like scary to pull across on the ramp it because it's wet and the ramp's wood and they're making like a big turn on it. I don't have like a, a washout. I'm going to do a banger line because we are nearing the end of the session. I'm going to do a flip to a truck driver, 360 bar spin, 
out of that fly out. Here we go then, finale banger. Oh no, second attempt, finale banger. You! That ramp is so good though, I absolutely love it. You! That was awesome, wasn't it? Yeah. I've honestly had the best session here today. Winter's tough, I do the same every year. I get like super down in the dumps because the weather's bad, the days are short. Bike parks are shutting because of snow and ice. But honestly, never overlook what's on your doorstep because something like this is absolutely incredible. Would you agree? Sometimes it's just the small, easy things that actually make the most difference to your riding. And yeah. I'm certainly gonna be spending a bit more time here over the winter because I think when it comes to the summer, of doing backflips you'll be absolutely shredding I'll be doing that <laughs> so the moral of the story today is get out on your bike what you've got on your doorstep is probably better than you think and you can always make a sick session so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give us a thumbs up leave your comments down below and we will both see you guys yeah. in the next video yeah I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuels like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shoot tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a